in Italy, reports are linking Lucas Paqueta with the move to Italian giants Juventus. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, here we go. It started already. I had an element of that when I saw the headlines. But then I read the article. I thought about the article. And I'm pretty chilled out. I'm going to explain why. According to the article, though, it's for a summer move. It's not even for the January transfer window. They're looking ahead. Juventus are looking ahead to the summer already. They're taking a look at the current crop of centre midfielders. Centre midfielders, not their current crop of number 10s, are looking at who they've got that plays in midfield. And the, the feeling is that they need to upgrade, that there's concerns over McKenney and Paradez. Uh, Rabio is yet to sign a new contract. So there could be a bit of a shake-up in the midfield department at Juventus. And should there be that... Lucas Paqueta is at the top of their shortlist for 40 million euros, 35 million pounds. Um, he would be, or possibly be, the number one target. Now, I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised at two things. First of all, the rumours. Why wouldn't there be rumours linking Paqueta with a move away? And Gianluca Scamacca for that. He was linked to Napoli last week. We'll discuss him as well. But why would those players not get linked with moves away? They're playing in, in my opinion, the highest profile league in the world. They cost a shed load of money. They're well known. They haven't quite hit the ground running. In terms of starting transfer rumours, it's ticking all the boxes here, isn't it? As a journalist, you want a high profile player who people could believe could be on the, the way out of their current clubs for reasons that you wouldn't even have to explain. And then just link them to a move that actually they might fit in there. So it's t Paquetta and Skamaka tick all the boxes for transfer rumours as far as I'm concerned. And then the second reason is, well, why wouldn't clubs be interested in Paquetta and Skamaka? But Paquetta especially. If you're looking for a midfielder of his type that we saw at Lyon and for Brazil, I guess, then why would you not look at him? Somebody that's gone to the Premier League, hasn't quite hit the ground running at West Ham there's concerns over the manager getting the best out of him surely Paquetta would be on your shortlist sure you think uh, there you go we can maybe get him we can maybe get him out of West Ham at a similar fee that they paid to get him into West Ham and that fee I guess is part of the article and the debate here 35 million pounds seems quite low but then when you think about what West Ham have paid actual giving to Leon for Paquetta it probably is around that mark i mean there's disputes over how much we've actually paid for him anyway i believe the package was worth around 50 million david moises himself has sort of sniggered at the idea that he's our record signing when he got asked about it he sort of said i think you need to check your facts or something despite the club saying he's our record signing but my point is while the package might be worth 50 million there'd be a hell of a lot of clauses in there based on appearances goals possibly even west ham winning a trophy or qualifying from the champions league we don't know. We will never know. But what have West Ham committed to paying for Paquetta from Lyon? It's probably around the £35 million mark. So the, the, the article sort of makes sense in that regard. It doesn't mean it's true, though. But hypothetically, if it was, I don't blame any club for looking at Paquetta and thinking, we can get him. We can lure him out of West Ham. In fact, any, any team playing European football should be looking at players like Paquetta, thinking it's not quite worked out for him. There's an opportunity there. We could get the best out of him. Let's go nab him. Especially when he's hitting the headlines with his performances or performance uh, for Brazil against Korea in the World Cup as well. That Brazilian team, just like the French team and the English team at the minute, are, are making headlines. You know, you take a look at Morocco. They've impressed putting Spain out. And we all know about their defensive midfielder now that plays for Fiorentina. I never heard of him before this tournament. Now given all the hype around him, his performances for Morocco, even I'm thinking he's a damn good player. I'm trying to think, hang on a minute, don't get ahead of yourself. You're, you're watching him in a completely different environment. Um, but even I'm getting lured in to some extent. I'm watching players I've never heard of. I think he's a good player, he's a good player. We might him at West Ham. Completely forgetting where I'm watching him. But anyway, my point is, Paqueta rumours away makes sense. It was always going to happen. Doesn't mean he will leave. And I guess that is the, the domino question. There's a domino effect of rumours, and that becomes the next question, which is, could you see him leaving? I, I'm not convinced. Not the January transfer window. The summer one, it, it depends what happens between now and then. I don't have an opinion just yet. It's a possibility for sure. But you could say that for every player, couldn't you? Um, I guess the question is, the probability of players leaving is higher than other ones. Ben Johnson's probability of leaving West Ham next summer is probably the lowest in the squad. And then you look at Declan Rice, probably the highest. And then everybody's in between. Paqueta is probably 
climbing that ladder every week that goes by at West Ham because we haven't seen the best out of him. And there are certainly doubts over if we will see the best out of him because I think things have to change at West Ham in order to see that. So it's no wonder that clubs are possibly circling like prey, looking at Paqueta, thinking we'll have him. Now, in regards to Skamaka, I seen this last week when I was on holiday and my reaction was, that rumour makes sense. Some transfer rumours do. Now, when we cover the transfer rumours on this show, the incomings to West Ham usually, we dismiss 99% of them. We'll get linked to this player and that player. We've been linked to Fellaini in the last couple of days. Fellaini. I mean, let's hope that's rubbish. But we dismiss 99%. But I don't think you can dismiss all the ones that were linked to go, oh, rubbish, won't sign him, won't sign him. But then when clubs get linked to our players, believe every single one of them. Do you know what I mean? You can't just dismiss one set of rumours but believe the other set of rumours completely. So the Paqueta one, I don't think he'll be going anywhere in January. I mean, Juventus aren't even linked to him for the January transfer. It's for the summer one. But I, I can't see Paqueta going. And the same goes for Skamaka, actually. But the, the rumours linking him to Napoli just make sense. Why wouldn't it? Napoli have purchased Raspadori in the summer based on what he did at Sassuolo with Skamaka as a partner. West Ham have purchased Skamaka based on what he did at Sassuolo with Raspadori as a partner. So why wouldn't Napoli think, how can we improve this team? I mean, they're having a bloody good season anyway, but they're thinking, how can this team get better? Well, let's get the guy that Raspadori works really well with and stick him up front. Um, when I've seen them this season, it's only been in the Champions League and they've obviously played Rangers and Liverpool, so I've seen quite a bit of them in the Champions League. And that striker area does seem like one that they could improve, that Raspadori is better off the the striker. They've got their Georgian winger on that side as well. Um, so the striker one, yeah, okay, my very, very limited opinion on Napoli is, okay, I can see why they'd perhaps be looking to bring a striker in. And the Skamaka one makes sense. Why wouldn't you? Because you know that, that that's a partner. You're buying a partnership, aren't you? You've already bought one half of it. So if you go buy the other half of it, it it's almost guaranteed to work. But also, I've always had this theory, and it's just my theory, okay? I've never actually looked into this or anything like that. And if people are watching this that are big fans of Italian football, you'll be able to correct me either way in the comment section. I hope you do, because I'll enjoy learning. But when we signed Skamaka, I've always had this feeling that he won't be at West Ham long. Now, I, I don't know if Paqueta will be, but if Paqueta's not at West Ham for long, it's because of West Ham, the manager at West Ham, or Paqueta, or a combination of those three things. But with Skamaka, I almost feel it's inevitable he will end up back in Italy regardless. Regardless of the manager at West Ham, West Ham and Gianluca Skamaka in the Premier League, he will go back. Because I've always just had this theory that Italians like to keep the money in Italy to some extent, buy off each other rather than give the money to, to foreign clubs that they, they try to keep the money within the league. And also when players play for the Italian national side, they like to have them playing for an Italian club. And when it comes to the, the number nine, when it comes to Italy's striker, they'd almost embarrassment's probably a strong word and too strong for this but to give you a bit of an idea of what I'm trying to say there's almost an element of that that hang on we need the Italian striker to be playing in Italy so I've always felt it's inevitable that Scamacca would return to one of those Italian clubs which I have no idea which one but he would go back there whether it's January the summer two years three years four years I don't know but I just feel it's inevitable he will eventually go back to one of the big Italian clubs and be their striker while playing for the Italian national squad. As long as he's playing for an Italian national team as well. But just now, I can't see it. I just can't because West Ham, as much as I criticise them for panicking when their big players get linked with moves away, the board this is, you know, Bowen gets linked to Liverpool. Before you know it, there's articles springing up here, there, and everywhere in the West Ham side of things. Oh, he's not for sale at any price, yada, yada, yada. And I get why they do it. I, I get it. This hands off approach, I get it. But they, we've not sold any big players. Obviously, Dimitri Pipe, but you're going back a few years now. Declan Rice is going to leave this summer, but we've done well to retain him for that long. However, I do accept, as discussed in the Declan Rice video, it's easy to keep a hold of a player if nobody bids. Have we actually seen off interest from Arsenal, Liverpool and Jared Bowen? Well, 
it's difficult to say yes because there was no bid. Same with Declan Rice. We've done while I say we've done well to keep him this long. Nobody's, as far as I'm aware, nobody's actually made a concrete offer for Declan Rice while he's been at West Ham. So it's easy to keep a hold of these players if nobody's bidding. It's like Skulls at Man United. I remember Fergie saying, in all my time at Man U, nobody ever, not once did anyone ever bid for Paul Skulls. Now, obviously, we're talking different levels here. Man United were up there and West Ham aren't quite that high up. So more clubs are going to be looking at West Ham players. But Fergie never once had to reject a bid for Paul Scholes because nobody ever bid. So it's just, I'm a bit like that when it comes to deck compromise and stuff. Is it, It's easy to keep a hold of your players and nobody bids for them. Whether bids arrive for Paqueta or Skamaka is a different thing altogether. But that rumour to Napoli, I believe it. I believe it. I believe they'd be looking at it for the same reasons I've given for Paqueta. Why wouldn't they? Why wouldn't any club that's in need of a striker, why would they not be looking at Skamaka? Because what I saw from him, now it's going to haunt me for a little while, all right? When I'd said that he's too good for West Ham, it's going to haunt me and it's going to get used against me. Unless he turns things around, but but certainly in the last couple of months, he's made me look a little bit silly. Nothing new there. It's happened plenty times before. It'll happen plenty times in the future where I look a little bit stupid. But that's how I felt at that time. At that time, I said that. That's genuinely how I felt because I was blown away by his talent, the way that he played football, his positioning, his strength, his vision, his link-up play with Jared Bone in particular. I was wowed by Skamaka. Now, in the last few games, I think he's been poor. You know, I'm not going to sit here and pretend. But it doesn't make him a bad player, though. I, I think he's definitely got the talent. He's definitely got the quality. But if there was a club looking for a striker, why would they not be looking at Gianluca Skamaka? Somebody that has openly stated that he's struggled to fit. I say struggled. I can't remember his exact words, but there was about a month ago, just as we broke up for the World Cup, there was an article um, about Skamaka with quotes from Skamaka about him fitting into the Premier League. And he basically asked for time. And um, I think he basically suggested that at the minute you've got 70% Gianluca Skamaka. You're going to have to wait a little while before you get the additional 30. I need time. And that's fine, you know, a, a player coming over from a new, a different league, a different country, he's got a bit of English behind him because of his time um, at PSV, and I, he, he needs time. Um, I'm more confident that Skamaka will be a success at West Ham than Lucas Paqueta. With Paqueta, I think a lot needs to change. The role for Paqueta needs to change. I know people watching this will go, the manager, you're not wrong. Whether it is the actual manager needs to leave and someone else comes in or the manager needs to change as in how he uses Paqueta, so on and so forth. Correct. Something A lot needs to change for us to see the best out of Paqueta on a regular basis at West Ham. We've seen glimpses, right? And he, it's not like he's been rubbish in every single game. It's, most games he's been ineffective, but there's been times where he's done, whether he controls the ball as a pass or, or he dinks past a couple of players or whatever. You've seen quality from Paqueta in glimpses. We know he's got the talent. We just need to get out of him at West Ham. With Skamaka, I think we've seen a bit more often. I think we've seen more evidence in the Clout and Blue that Skamaka is a top player, will be a top player, can be a top player at West Ham. And I think less needs to change. I think it needs adjusted. But Skamaka himself doesn't need to change. With Paqueta, he probably does. He's taken three touches instead of two in the penalty. I think he needs to adapt to the pace of it. I think with Skamaka, I think he's fine with the Premier League. I think it's us in the way that we set up around him or behind him, if you like, to get the best out of him. In some games, I think he's been magnificent. In, in other games, I think he's been really, really poor. But those games, he tends to be isolated. We struggle to get players next to him. So I think Skamaka's role doesn't need to change that much at West Ham. It's the roles of players around him and behind him and getting close to him in order to get the best out of him. Um, and I'm more confident he will be a success at West Ham than I am that of Paqueta at the minute. In regards to the January transfer window, I'm not worried about either of them leaving, actually. I'm quite confident they'll both be here on the 1st of February. Would I be against selling any of them? I don't know. It depends on the money, doesn't it? I've always said every player's got a price. I stand by it. Every player does have a price. Are they up? There's a difference between available to buy and up for sale. There's a big, big difference between the two. Actively trying to sell a player and willing to accept bids for a player are two completely different things as far as I'm concerned. Um, but I'm very confident they'll both be here. Am I confident they'll both be a success? 
I'm more confident in Skamaka. Am I confident next summer they won't leave? Well, no, I can't say that. I can't say either way for what it's worth. Things need to change between now and then. Otherwise, if we see Skamaka and Paqueta getting linked with moves away in April or May, I'd be more inclined to believe them than I am of today. But for those clubs out there that need a top midfielder or a top striker, why wouldn't they be looking at Paquette and Skamaka already and thinking, well, let's monitor the situation at West Ham because if things don't improve for them, we could possibly get them. Uh, and I know a lot of people have already are already worried that they're going to leave in January. I've seen it in the comments of the videos that we're going to lose this player, we're going to lose that player in January as well as at the end of the season. I'm quite relaxed about the, the winter window. The summer one, it depends what happens between now and May. A lot could happen. We could have a, go on to have a good season. We could have a terrible season in anything in between as well. So we'll have to wait and see. Well, I will renew my position uh, towards the end of the season. But for January, I'm okay with it. But yes, doesn't stop it. Lucas Paqueta linked to Juventus. Skamaka linked to Napoli. Sometimes rumours just make sense. Doesn't mean they're real though. If you enjoyed this video, please do drop a like on the sky. We need a hammer chat. Catch you tomorrow.